Not content to let the Sevs and the OGs have all the fun on social media, D Thang would also end up going live, with K Flock and Co joining his broadcast to yell that they're YG killers and they're smoking dead people. Smoking on Lottie, YG K. I leave. <laughs> In fact, K Flock, slowly becoming a master of self incrimination, would even use this live as an opportunity to show off live ammunition on camera. Muddy. Yeah, Muddy, don't do that, Muddy. Don't do that, Muddy. Never put it over for my wild, nigga. Even my grandma know that. But K Flock wasn't just going hard on social media because him and his crew were about to drop their biggest track yet. On March the 25th, 2021, Dougie B, B Love, and K Flock would drop their posse cut, Brotherly Love. Another high energy Bronx drill anthem that had all three rappers going hard aggressively over yet another booming UK drill style sampled beat, with each of the three rappers dropping hard verses back to back with no breaks and no chorus. And the music video for Brotherly Love had no shortage of guns and contraband either. And the lyrical content was just as dangerous as the set dressing too. In the song, Dougie B announces that they are indeed everybody killers. He says that he's so high that he can see Wu, a reference to Fallen YG's member Wu Lottie. He says that they're going to catch an OY member and shoot their head off. In K Flock's verse, he openly brags about spinning through the 800 block and shooting. He pays respects to his fallen friend JB. And in the final verse, B Love says that when they spin, they bring women with them too. Something that we actually know to be true from their IG live spinning the block. Brotherly Love was a breakout Bronx drill track, blowing these three rappers up massively, raising their profile to the point where they could no longer be ignored. I come out though, yo, that's a rap. Everybody knows that. I don't even know. It's like this. They going. Oh, that's 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 but I'm sure you won't be surprised to learn that even as their profiles grew off the back of hit records, K Flock would still be hunting for ops on live in the streets of the Bronx in the weeks following this release. In April, in a live session titled Wire Op Just Ran, K Flock would come on live claiming to have just caught an op and made him run for his life just moments before turning the camera on. Bro, me and my son, see how the chase. Dog, you saw me hop out. He said, huh, 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 nothing. Get that ass up. I like, he took light. He got scared. I said, boom, that shit. So, I was running right to the cops. He thought he was going to do something because he ran in front of the cops. He was going to fuck the cops. He started running behind the cops. And then the cops had to hop out. Like, bitch, suck my dick. Now, K Flock was acting crazy on this live, at one point even yelling out that his crew had destroyed the candle lit mural of a fallen member and that nobody had even retaliated yet. Word about a dead nigga? Finally, the y'all candles! Ain't that Citizen Lil y'all block? Too just recently, times. just recently, you still ain't do nothing to my block, suck my dick. Frankly, K Flock was just getting worse and worse with these incriminating live sessions. At a certain point, he even begins naming specific cars that his ops are driving and claiming that he's gonna come back and shoot the block up, not on live, which is just a very dumb and incriminating thing to say before you do a crime. Oh, ask him, is that great Nissan on your block? Hey, hung up, we know something. We know the Uda do. I'll play it. But we come through your block right now. But not on live though. Tragedy would strike once again for the YGs in March 2021, when on the 17th, a young woman named Delilah Vasquez was at an apartment at 3339 Hal Ave in Norwood, only a few blocks away from where she grew up. Apparently, Delilah had been pictured in lives with prominent members of the YGs and had allegedly been close friends with several members. According to the police, following an argument at the property, Delilah would end up being shot in the head, with her body being discovered around 10 minutes past 10 pm. It was reported that after the shooting, a gun was thrown out the window, at which point several supposed blood gang members were seen fleeing the apartment. The news would even point out that that apartment was known as a gang stronghold and suggesting that Delilah was known to associate with gang members. She was taken to the hospital but did sadly pass away of her injuries, a tragic loss that would leave the whole community in shock. If you know something, let the family know! Police found Vasquez in an East Gun Hill Road apartment around 10 p.m. earlier this month. Following the shooting, several people believed to be blood gang members were seen exiting the building. The gun was tossed out the window. Residents expressed concern over blood gang members taking control of the apartment building before the incident occurred. This was an awful tragedy, but to make matters worse, despite not even being a full-blown gang member, the YG's ops, the OGs, would use Delilah's tragic demise as an opportunity to mock and provoke their enemies in the YG's. Only around a month after Delilah's passing on April the 22nd, 2021, OG's rappers Shah EK and Blockwork released the very disrespectful song D&D, &D, which stands for Dummy and Delilah. A scathing diss 
track aimed towards the YGs, with Shah EK dropping lyrics suggesting that he smokes Delilah, as well as saying that he will also smoke a dummy. An apparent reference to another fallen member, Dumb Out, real name Damien Gilbert, who was sadly stabbed to death in 2018. The victim, 18-year-old Damien Gilbert, died at the hospital, stabbed several times in the chest. Now police are looking for a killer, someone the victim knew. But the disrespect went deeper than the two names contained within the title. Blockwork would go on to say that he was smoking on Lottie and saying that he's ready to kill any flocker. At this point, it begins to feel like the disrespect in Bronx Drill music is reaching an all-time high. But from here, the war of words and songs released by both sides would only intensify, spurring on the rivalry even further. 